Hello, we are Hexapan from Görlitz. I'm Julius, the guitarist and vocalist. I'm Marco, the drummer. And I'm Mario, the bassist and second vocalist. Yeah, maybe you wonder why a German band has a Norwegian name that roughly translates to witch burning in English. Well, right after we formed the band, we made a trip to Norway in 2016. Uh, there we wrote a lot of musical content for uh, our latest release, Spiritual Descending. Um, on the trip we listened a lot to Quella Tag's uh, Nettersfeld and chose Saxoplan as our band name because it fits quite well to our lyrics um, that deal with supernatural tales and witch craze topics. We spent our time writing new music and trying to pr promote our new album Spiritual Descending during these crazy times. Uh, fortunately, we don't have jobs that got influenced by the regulations in a bad way, so it's quite okay. The main drawback was that we can't go to concerts and festivals. Even some of our shows got cancelled or postponed, so it sucks. And we can't even make a release show till the end of this year. Fortunately, Saxony wasn't hit as hard as other regions and our government was pretty fast with setting up the regulations. Um, at the moment, everything is slowly starting to getting normal again, so that's quite cool, but the whole concert thing is still an issue, at least for us. I think um, people should take this whole corona crisis thing as an opportunity to really cherish their freedom and opportunity to do stuff and I hope they really start living again uh, after this is all over um, and for some it was like the perfect time to, to learn new stuff be it an instrument or a language or whatever uh, about spiritual descending um, it was quite a long way to get it as we wanted um, we already started in 2017 on our trip in Norway to write the first content for the album and from there it was a constant process and the album uh, developed to a real great piece of art. Um, luckily we have our own studio, the Goliath Studio here in Görlitz. Um, so we have the time to um, yeah, find the, the right sound, the sound that we really want and we like, yeah. Uh, for the lyrics, the album is not a concept album, so there's no ongoing theme throughout the record. Uh, but we work a lot with the concept of witchcraft spirit, consciousness and elements and there are quite some stories about uh, failed journeys and I think they fit quite well to our musical content so everybody comes up with, with a lyric idea and then we try to work them into the songs um, and most of the time they can be translated quite well into the present time or to real life situations if you will. The cover artwork of Spiritual Descending is absolutely awesome. Um, we work together with Marco Sandergaard who tried to get our ideas into this piece. The idea about the cover um, came when I was hiking in the mountains in the near of Görlitz. Um, there was a little cabin in the middle of the woods and when I walked there I thought oh how crazy would it be if we can practice inside there and yeah so the idea developed and we do often some changes on how it looked but in the end it's absolutely perfect. Yeah it's a pretty difficult question it's nice to work with somebody that knows the business but on the other hand it's nice to manage it all by your own um, and so you have the freedom to do whatever you want and yeah 
that's why we choose this way and it's also hard to find a label that supports you because it likes your music and uh, not only because you pay them because we couldn't do a release show yet uh, we're planning um, a couple of of, of uh, gigs with our friends of Geometrics in early October. Um, you can find more details on that on our Facebook page. Um, and generally, if you if you like our stuff and you want to see Spiritual Descending Alive, just drop us a message and maybe we can make something happen. There was this one absolutely crazy show in Togo that we had. Um, actually, it was a birthday party of a friend of us. In, in t it happened in a barn on the field. <laughs> um, when we come there, we put our tents where we want to stay the night, and then we get all our stuff inside the barn. And yeah, the people get drunk, really drunk. And we played, and in the um, middle of the set, they told us to stop because they want to kill a three liter bottle of mint liquor <laughs> we have to drink also and yeah after that the people really get crazy it was circle pit and mosh area and all the stuff <laughs> it was unbelievable awesome. crazy show yeah um, for me the best release of the year is uh, from Hellas it's a Swedish band um, the record is called Conundrum. The vocals are great, very unique, I think. Um, the, the double guitar play is perfect, and of course, uh, the 80 drum fill. I like stuff really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, I think it's the new Edda album, um, I think it's called Omen. I really like, like this stuff because it's like uh, the perfect blend between like stoner music and like progressive stuff and they have like the coolest riffs and shit and on the new album they have a second guitarist now I think and so the the whole melody stuff is like even a step further from the old stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, um I'm a really big Quellatag fan, but yesterday it was funny. I got a new Apple Friday playlist and there was a band called Black Rainbow and the song I think called Master Rocket Power Blast. <laughs> it's really funny, but uh, the heavy bass intro and also uh, all in all heavy bass music is the thing me impressed the most. And that's my kind of music. Yeah, I will give it, of course, a try and maybe listen to the whole album. And I hope I find some really cool new inspirations for our stuff. So the plans for, for the new future. Um, we recently started to shoot a music video with the help of our friend Daniel. And we're really looking forward to wrap this up and to release it to the public as soon as possible because it will be awesome. Um, furthermore, we uh, we continue to promote the album and are planning new, new new shows to get to know more people, more bands, more locations, and yeah. So if we are in your town, then come come say hi and and grab a beer with us and. Have a good time. Cheers. Cheers. We exit, man. Cheers.